is up guys welcome back to the channel but if this is the first time you clicking on my video I appreciate you hopefully you stick around long enough to check out all my videos give them thumbs up comment down below I like to interact with everybody who watches my channel so being that it is free at Friday hopefully everybody had a great week thought I would open up something from the car culture series uh, the premium Hot Wheels lineup and it's the Porsche 934.5 uh, it's the number 77 in a super nice white with the red and yellow tampo work running down the center as well as the side stripes right there um, so yeah guys on the back you can see right here this is the entire set for this lineup for the car culture these are the thrill climbers so these are more of the rally racers you got the Audi Sport Quattro the Porsche 9345 which this one is that one then you got the Ford RS200 the Lancia 037 and the Volkswagen IDR which was a super sweet casting I seen all of these on the pegs but I decided on the Porsche 934 5. Now the reason why it's a 934.5 is it, it's actually a mixture of the two models the Porsche 934 as well as the Porsche 935 um, Both of them were built for racing. I'll post the pictures that way you can see the two side by side You can see a lot of the same characteristics in both Mixed onto this cast right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up so you can take a closer look at this one all right guys let's take this out the box all right guys look at this out in the open super fresh looking that white on white is just really clean does have the nice 77 on the sides as well as the top with the red and yellow tampo work uh, the red and yellow stripes look really nice on it, it gives it a little bit of a throwback appearance uh, and it does have some nice tampo work for the turn signals uh, and the headlight covers uh, and those aren't actually blacked out they're actually covers for when they race those type of races um, and I think it's pretty good detail. The front splitter is nice. I wish it was black to kind of separate or di differentiate it, but I guess that's how it is on the actual car itself. So it's all white on white. And then it looks like these are the aero disc fan blade wheels with the real riders. They aren't um, grooved. They're actually slick wheels uh, with the white base. But even though a lot of people may not like these wheels, they actually were functional. The reason why they designed the wheels like this was back in the day when they were doing these type of races and putting all that demand with all this power. They wanted to cool the brake somehow. So these wheels were actually designed in a fan blade to help pull all that heat away from the brakes to keep them as cool as they possibly could. Nowadays, you got bigger brakes, more efficient brake pads. You got air ducts that run better. Um, but that was what they had, and that's what I thought uh, was really cool about the innovation of racing and all that stuff. It's just the simple thing of designing a rim to help cool down the brakes. Like I said in the beginning, it is a mixture between the 934 and the 935, um, which both were built just to dominate the track. Um, and this thing just looks wicked from the side. I love that swoop of that wing. That wide body looks really, really nice. Um, you come around the rear, just looks super sick. Uh, it does have some tail lights that are actually attached to the glass. Um, so no tampo work, but it's actually plastic. Um, the exhaust is just painted white. So everything's white. Looks like it looks a little cheap to me. I wish it was a black base or a chrome base or something just to separate it a little bit. Um, but it is what it is. You're not really looking at that when you're staring at this car. You're wanting to admire it from all angles, which I definitely appreciate. Um, you can't really see, but there are two bottles sitting in the passenger side um, where their seat would be, and it looks like a box of some sort. Um, it's really hard for the camera to focus in on. There is a race-inspired bucket seat with the five-point harness in there. It does have a crossbar in the back for the roll cage. But a really, really nice cast. Now, I know... I believe it was 2017, the very first time this cast came out for Hot Wheels. Um, I'll post the different variations up on the corner, that way you can check it out. Let me know if you have them down below. Um, but yeah, I think this car is really, really sweet. I'm glad to add this to my Porsche lineup. I can't wait to see what other variations come out in this, and hopefully to see this casting come back out in its single pack, not in a multi-pack, but in a single pack soon. Um, definitely want to stock up on more of my Porsches which I'll actually go over one more time in case you guys forgot. I have grown to really like Porsche. So I got the red number 11 917 LH. I got the blue number three. I got the Grand Cross, which actually is a Porsche SUV. Um, and then the Panamera in blue in like that asphalt gray or primer gray, whatever color it is. The GT3 RS Tanner Fox and then the purple GT3 RS um, and then moving down to the 356A Outlaw in teal 
and then the 944 in red as well as in gold and then moving on up to the 918 spiders uh, in silver and black blue and white and matte black with red Herrera's in silver blue black and yellow um, and now I can finally add the car culture premium to that so let me know down below what you like about this cast and let me know if you have it but let's just admire it one more time look at that that car is just super sick definitely like it but yeah guys that's all I got for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did like I said give it a thumbs up it's greatly appreciated and until next time this is the Mustang Hunter peace